So I wanted to add this um, video, but it's going to be shorter than the other one. Um, I didn't get to add it there. Um, I feel like because it's more, it's more separate. But um, it's as simple as this. You don't need to come out. And what I mean by that is that you don't need to come out to who's ever whoever feels or doesn't resonate with you. You know, coming out is a process. Um, we're so used to this as part of the queer community. Of like, do I have to come out? Do I have to tell my parents? Do I have to tell people and all that stuff? It's almost like a social obligation. Like for me, it's... um. I don't know, I felt like I had to do it, but I knew instinctively and intuitively that if I did that, my parents would be like, you know, they'd be all Christian about it. <laughs> um, or they'd be all very, you know, that's that separation energy. I want to call it separation energy because it's like they believe that their belief is the only way. Right? And so that in turn created about a more invalidation in my life that I'm like, I'm not part of it, I'm not worthy, you know. Um, but that's, I've started to realize that, especially now that it's like, there are things I don't tell them and a lot of things, especially emotion stuff, deep stuff. I don't tell them because there's no reason to, well, I wouldn't say reason. It just doesn't resonate or it's just like, I can appreciate and value their their gifts, the things that they provide, the things that they've given me, all that stuff. What's more, it's more earthbound. It's more like physical things, material things, food, money, um, clothes, you know, education, those kind of things. But other than that, that's all they can give. That's their level or levels of consciousness. It's just kind of like right here. You know, it's not about the levels either. It's just, yeah. So it's a choice to who do you tell? And it's, you know, one of the things I've learned is like, I ask myself this, this question, I ask myself, there's a reason I don't need to come out because if I, like who, like, who do I tell? Like, what does that even mean, right? To tell someone. Because really, if you think about it, when you tell someone something, some information, the reason why we usually want to tell something to some information, where especially when it comes from the heart, is because when it comes from, because it is from the heart, because it's something exciting. Oh, I discovered this. I'm so happy. I accepted this. So there's a reason why you don't need to come out. And you can't, you don't need to come out until you know yourself. You have come out to yourself. Meaning, You've gone, I guess, deep enough to know that it's like, oh, yeah, this feels this feels really natural. You know, regardless of the experience that you have or experience or like that, it's not to invalidate experiences or the trauma, any of that stuff. It's not to invalidate that. I'm saying that when it starts becoming real, when it starts becoming like something you resonate with, then that's when you decide who do you tell, right? And even if you don't tell people, because you can you can sense with people, you can sense with certain energies. There are people who, if you're surrounded by people who, um, you sense don't resonate with your specific specific level of consciousness, then. You have to decide. There's no right or wrong decision. But there are, I wouldn't say, I would say, I wouldn't say there were consequences, but yeah, there could be consequences or results. Either way, you get a feedback, you get something back, and you say, okay, so got it. I told this person, this is how they reacted. Or they, first of all, they reacted, right? Instead of validating it. Because, you know, as humans, we're kind of. We're not used to validating each other. We've come, you know, we're getting back into it, but it's a long ways back into what that means. Validating isn't 
or just words, it has to come from the heart. It always stems from the heart. It always stems from, you know, real unconditional love. So, yeah, so you can be surrounded by those people or people you feel you don't resonate with. Or you can be surrounded by people who actually know how to, they know, they know, they understand what the value is, they understand what validation is, they understand unconditional love. You can still choose whether to come out or not come out to them. Because it's it's a personal choice. It's a personal thing. Now, if someone outs you, that's their choice. Because it's already, they made a choice. Right? Why were they doing it in the first place? Because usually when someone outs somebody else, it's almost like if the intention, if the main intention was to just do that, then I feel personally that they're most likely just, they could be gossiping about it. We don't really know. We can't assume. Um, I mean, if it comes out during the conversation, then it comes out, whatever they're talking about. But if the intention was, if it was, if it was, an, if it was, if it was uh, out of, you know, malice, maybe, if it was ill-intended, That's another thing, right? But if it just came out, it's 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 all a process, right? Um, on my journey towards all this stuff and learning and continuously learning, it's still ongoing. There was never a beginning. There was never an end. In form, yes, the learning continues. Yes, and literally, before after this lifetime, because in everything. Yeah, that's the 3D world, right? So, <laughs> so anyways, I just wanted to state that today. So, yeah. You don't need to come up to choice. I'm pretty sure you've heard that before. I'm just giving my own little spiel about it. But, um, yeah. I don't actually tell people myself. It just comes up. That's how it is. That's how, it's, that's how it happens for me. And I now know where to put walls up like with certain people there are people where i can just go let it go i get to choose and that's what it is right you set your intentions like who right and it, yes there is a whole vibration thing this is there's a whole attraction thing but that's why it starts with myself if i'm not accepting it myself i'm going to eventually attract more of the same people who don't accept it so um, and even if that were the case, um, it's not about getting people who don't accept you or don't accept you or not. It's about the awareness of it, our perception of it. Our perception changes when we say, okay, well, they don't accept me. Okay, well, I'm not bothered by it. But it, that's, that's, again, that's looking at the whole outcome thing, right? There's nothing, there's really no need to heal anything. When we're in the presence of something, when we go back, we, as Eckhart puts it, he says, uh, what is it? Um, what was it? You start with the body, the breath, and you make it a practice. The breath. You bring your attention to the body, the sensations. And you go, okay. Right? This is why in, I think it was doctors or is it EMTs or medical, they, they tell people to count when they're breathing. One. Two. That's because the breath is, there's not just air. It's not just breathing. It's not just biology. It's energy that is that has come to be. Right? Even if the source of oxygen was poison, first of all, in the early billions of years ago, it doesn't matter. It's an energy. It's a form of energy that we're so used to. And when we're in touch with that, it's from the earth. Right? When oxygen developed on the earth, it started, it was brought through with water. Water is H2O. But it was through the plants that later developed millions of years, millions of years before. So you see what I mean? So this whole it's it's a grand universal beautiful intelligence that is inside all of us. 
So when we go into something like this, when we tap into the breathing, we go back into that as well. So that's what I'm saying. So when it comes to anything like in terms of validation or coming out, all those kind of things, we go back into ourselves first and go inwards with anything in possible and everything basically. That's where it is. That's just, that's source. Source, you are part of source. You are never separated. So anyways, I'm just something that I'm also telling myself. The reason you know people give advice is not really because they're giving advice, but it's really more like they want to tell themselves. Um, <laughs> so I take it as it is. Like, like we say, take it with a grain of salt. Yeah. <laughs> anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys later.